Yeah. That was a great feeling. Great smell. And accomplishing something useful. Uh, some of you are new to my channel. Welcome. Frank Robles, Strength Equals. I've talked about this in the past. I love to chop wood. Chop wood because I have to. And because I like to. And because I want to. Chopping wood definitely helps get a lot of aggression out. Not that I'm a mad, angry guy, but it's it's fun. Okay? I think every guy has that in them. You know, that warrior, like, ah, you know, and I think that's in there. Chopping wood allows you to do that. Working out allows you to do that. There's many aspects of doing it. But I like this. There's not much thought. Uh, very minimal. Uh, just go at it hard. The fact of being outside is another great element. The smell of the wood. The satisfaction of when you're burning it. I did that. I think it's so important. So important, not only just for humans, women too, but men. Men need this. You see many videos on how to increase testosterone, eat this for that, this. Those things are all true. But doing things like this, getting out into nature, doing things that are a little aggressive. I hate to use the word mindless because it's not mindless, but it's not that much of a depth here, okay? Somewhat mindless, you're just relaxing. You're somewhat relaxing even though your your body's going through a lot. I can't explain it. It's, it's an awesome thing. I can't say it enough, I should say. I am explaining it, but I can't say it enough. Awesome thing to do. Get If you can chop wood, chop wood. It's much better and different than just hitting a tire with a sledgehammer. There's some benefits to that. Yeah, you're exercising, but it's not the same. I think God just made it different. The satisfaction of chopping wood. The satisfaction of hearing that noise, the satisfaction of burning it later on. Okay, all of that, it's different. I think all of this stuff, scratch that. I know this stuff helps you raise your testosterone, help you feel more confident about yourself. Okay, that's just the inner strength. And of course, it's building strength. Okay, I always say strong mind, okay, strong body, strong heart too. Not just cardiovascular wise, I mean having a good spiritual heart. All of those things create a balanced human being and a balanced human being has good hormones okay so if you can chop wood so let's talk about this some of you can't maybe you live in uh, the city you don't have this luxury okay I guess hitting a tire is your next best option if you can something physical but the biggest thing I always try to advocate with this is being outside being in nature Doing things that are a little scary, I've talked about this. Doing things that are a little aggressive, things that are, um, I guess just that, being able to just let it out, okay? Doing things like that, okay? Maybe that's running. You have to use your own imagination. What you can, don't do anything illegal. Just do what you can get away with. If you live in a neighborhood where a person is burning wood, maybe ask them, hey, can I help you chop wood? You know, no charge. You're doing it for your for the benefit of not only helping somebody, which further increases the hormonal pluses, okay? But they're helping you for the reasons I just said. So ask them to chop wood, okay? Um, if you ask me, I'm probably going to say no because <laughs> I want to do it. Uh, but anyways, no, I'm serious. If you have that opportunity, you can do that. Um, you got to find ways to, to live more, I hate to use the word, but it's because it's overused, but more primal, more out, I guess more natural. Get off our phones, get off our t couches, get off the TV, even get out of the machines in the workout world, you know, uh, whether you can be free weights. Start using your imagination on how to be aggressive and how to use your muscles, okay? But this is a great ancient way of doing it, okay? I know ancient's a little funny, but this is something that you can do, okay? For those who live in the city, a tire may work, like I was saying. Um, huge benefit in just helping somebody, too. Okay, I talked about helping someone, but just helping people. That's what, what this is doing, too. This is helping my family. That helps you feel accomplished, helping somebody. Working out, sometimes it's, it's selfish in nature, and there's nothing wrong with working out. I'm not trying to say it's selfish and it's a bad thing to do. Um, actually... The word selfish isn't a bad thing. To take care of yourself is not a bad thing, okay? When you're, when you're perhaps egotistical, you're 
cocky, then that's, that's when it turns bad, okay? Jesus said to love others as you loved yourself. So you have to love yourself, okay? You got to take care of yourself. And if you treat yourself with respect, you treat yourself with dignity, and you take care of yourself, that's how you should treat other people, okay? So treat other people with that same way, though. Go out of your way to help people. Go out of your way to do things for them, and you're going to feel good about that. Jesus also said there's more happiness in giving than there is in receiving, and that is absolutely true. Do things with the right intentions, though, not just to make yourself look good or, or just solely for the sole reason to feel good, but because you want to help people. You'll feel good. Again, that hormonal balance, whether you're a man or a woman. You know, people talk about testosterone, always just think men and think, oh, yeah, aggressive. You need good hormonal balance. And these are, I hate to call them secrets because they're there. The scriptures, the Bible, lessons in life have always been there and how to achieve that. Okay, but anyways, hard work, using whatever you can with your hands, put them to work and work hard. All right, as always, thanks for watching. Frank Robles, Strength Equals. Any questions, comments, please leave them.